looking at these prizes and these things we want to obtain, it says, I, I think that we need to keep our heads up and avoid the traps that are in life that will make you stumble. The world paints a picture and paints those crowns and those goals as something that we just want to we just want to go after and they're good they make us feel good and they they look good on a shelf they look good hanging up they look good in other places they make us have little bragging rights if you will but guys it's time that we start bragging more about our god our savior than we do ourselves because as we look and we see the success we have in life, we see how God has blessed and forgiven us and set us back on that uh, straight and narrow. And has, as when we do fall, he forgives and sets us back. As he doesn't, when we mess up, he doesn't leave us on the side. He, he chastens after us and helps to bring us back through conviction. He will forgive us. But we often want to hang on to that prize that looks so good. Uh, there's a, uh, with hockey and the Stanley Cup, y'all know about that? That is like one of the most prized, most prized trophies out there. And there are fans, there's even players, that their life goal is to just touch that trophy. That's a world standard. When God, in doing and following and setting that pace and going with that pace he sets before us, knowing that he will let us finish, he will give us the strength to do it, you don't have to dream about touching. You can obtain it. You don't have to stumble and fall and get tripped up and get your mind all confused about all this other stuff. God says if you'll seek him first, all these other things will fall into place. You can obtain the goals here. You attain and be in the pace setting that God has put you in. Still enjoy life. Still get goals. Still get prizes. Still be able to uh, push yourself to the limits and enjoy things. But you're fighting for that prize that he has set and not something that mere man has gotten a hold of to put in front of you. 